Today, I'm here with 10 Netflix show recommendations. Y'all feel me? Okay, so we're just gonna get into the video and no need to be talking. First on my list is Riverdale. Riverdale is basically like, not spoiling it, but it's about teenagers in high school and they just like discover stuff. But it's good, it's better than it sounds. And when I first watched it, I watched it every day and I don't even watch TV like that, but I was watching it every single day. Yeah, it's, it's addictive. It's an addictive show. Most of these shows on my list are for teenagers. The next show on my list is Elite or Elite. I call it Elite, but my mom says it's called Elite. It's also about three teen teenagers who go to a private high school and the whole show is basically like rich versus poor like and then there's stuff trying to get discovered and figure out without me telling the story i'm trying to tell y'all what happened but it's actually really interesting i think i think the people are from I don't know they might be from spain but i think they're from somewhere else they're not they're not from here i think they're from spain but obviously you can listen to the movie in english um the next one is control z control z is the freaking same thing it's all this is like i told you it's all high school they're teenagers in high school and basically trying to figure out who is behind this technology exposing everybody in the high school. And there's um some, what's it called? What is it called? What is it called? Think. What is it called when, when like you find something out in your life? <gasps> there's some, oh my gosh. Some plot twist, plot twist. When you, when you figure out that word that you just couldn't think of. Next, Jenny and Georgia. Jenny and Georgia is um, the, a mom and a daughter. The mom is pretty cool, I guess. And Jenny, bro, Jenny is a brat. But I can't say too much because if somebody is watching this and they don't know. But if I'm doing like, if I make a new video about like what I think of shows or whatever them videos are called. Then I can tell y'all like, oh my god, that movie, that show gets on my nerves. No, is it Jenny or Georgia? But it's still an interesting show to watch. Next is a typical. It's like a special needs or I forgot what he had, but he's in high school also. And it's not sad or nothing, cause it's not like it's not about. He is, it's like it's not about it's like it's supposed to be funny the show's supposed to be funny and he goes to he has a job and he goes to therapy and stuff like it's funny it's not a, like a shad show is that the funny about that i'm saying the show is you have to go watch it next show dang i wasn't even saying my numbers okay one two three four five okay the six six show sh the sixth show on my list is the end of the fucking world the end of the fucking world can't cuss on here but it's also about some kids in high school and they run away together and I'm not trying to spoil it basically a teenage boy just thinks that he is um a serial killer
A teenage boy thinks that he's a serial, serial killer, but he falls in love with the girl he's supposed to kill. Basically. The seventh one on my list is the best one of all time. The best show of all time. Of all... Drum roll, please. Money heist. <clears throat> Money heist. Okay, Money Heist. Money Heist is about, not about teenagers in high school. This is actually a show for anybody, actually. It's not a teenager show. Money Heist is basically, these are people from Spain, so they speak Spanish, but you can listen to it in English. Obviously, that's what everybody does. And it's about people, criminals, um, a person collects criminals to go and rob a bank. But they do like a whole heist, like they stay in there and stay nights and there's like people in there and there's kids that went on field trips that's in there. So they're all stuck in the bank and it's really interesting. Like I swear it's the best movie ever. I mean, best show ever. Literally. And it just came out with the last season, which is season number five. I think it was like two months ago. Um, the next eighth show on my list. It's trinkets or trinkets or trinkets, trinkets, trinkies. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put like you know the picture of the show thingy right here. I'm talking about but the trinkies, trinkies, trinky chocolate charts. It's about three girls, teenage girls. They're shoplifters and they go to high school together. And they become like triple friends or whatever you call a three friend group a trio Woo. the ninth the ninth show on my list is called good girls good girls is three grown women um basically have families and they're basically they like do stuff like they got themselves in this big situation with this mexican dude and they have to, you know, like, get fake money and they were robbing places and stuff to take care of their family. But people couldn't know. But people were finding out. And people were losing houses and all this other stuff. And people were losing. Of course, the video stops mid-talk. What else am I talking about? <clears throat> Good girls. Yeah, people are losing houses. People are losing money. People are freaking robbing people. It's, it's some crime. It's some, it's some, it's some lot. Like, the last show on, the last show on my list of Netflix suggestions is Who? Sarah. Who? Sarah. Um, teenagers. They're in high school, but I think it's like a certain part of the show, they're young, and then the rest, they get older and try to discover what actually happened. Basically, a friend group, and one of the friends had a brother, I mean a sister, named Sarah, which was girlfriends with one of the friends in the group, and they went on a trip, and she, she, I can't tell y'all how she, Actually, it shows you at the beginning. It's not a secret or nothing. It's just trying to figure out who did it. Who, you know. That is all 10 Netflix show suggestions. I made this video already and then I accidentally deleted it. This is Vlogmas Day. I don't know. So, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.